Well, hello, beautiful people. Today I wanted to go over some basic prompting in Stable Diffusion using Playground AI. Now, before we start prompting, let's check our workspace here. Let's choose 3D4 by 640 as we want a portrait style aspect ratio. We're going to leave the prompt guidance and quality at its default for now. We'll change it later. Make sure this is checked so we get some random images. Click on show advanced options. This may be at its default setting. You can pick whatever you want. I tend to use Euler or Euler Ancestral at least to start. Let's switch this on to keep our images private. And we're going to see if I can run four at a time. If not, we'll bring it back down to one. So the first thing you want to determine is what type of picture you want and what is the main subject idea. Now I have this idea of creating a archangel that's almost like a robot warrior. So to start off, I'm going to put portrait of an archangel warrior in here no filters and we're going to run this and what I want to do is really just find an image with the right pose at this point preferably a full shot where we can see the arms and the feet so we get these kind of classic style portraits of an archangel which is great they're good starting points now these two not what I'm looking for I'm just going to go ahead and delete it you see the trash can icon there. We're going to click on that. These two I can kind of work with. Now, obviously, if I didn't like this result, I can run it again. I kind of like both of these, but I'm going to run with this one here. So now I'm going to click on the three buttons here and we're going to use image to image. And what this does, it's going to use this image as a basis to create uh, everything else that we're going to add onto our prompt. Now, if we look below the image here, we see image strength. If I bring this all the way to the right, it's going to keep more of the likeness of the image and not really change it all too much. And the lower it is, the more random that picture will be. For now, we'll keep it at 30. Now, if we look to the right, you're going to see now we have this number enabled and this is your seed number. This seed number is related to this image. So you could even save this number offline if you want to come back to it. But there's really no need for it unless you delete it. You could simply come back to this image in your profile gallery should you want to reuse it. Now that I have my pose, I want to give it sort of like a, a mecha type of robotic look. What I'm going to do is type in gear mecha and just run it. Let's put two images and I'm going to run it. And there we go. And we're getting closer to the look that I'm looking for. Kind of like this, but it's a bit too robotic for me. But what I'm going to do is swap this image now for the image to image because it's closer to what I'm looking for. But instead of gear mecha, I'm going to put in Warframe. And Warframe is a video game that uh, I play on occasion. And basically it's like a space ninja that looks really cool. <laughs> but instead of putting it after the comma here, I'm going to put it in before warrior. I might even be able to take out the warrior, but I'm going to see what we can get. So I'm going to generate two more images here, adding the Warframe word. So I really like what's happening here. It's got this Warframe look. If you're familiar with the game, you'll know what I mean, but it really just gives this style a, a, a particular look that I really like. So I kind of like what's happening here, but I'm not crazy about these borders that are in the picture and we can take care of that, don't worry. I'm just gonna run two more generations to see if I can get something a little bit more closer to what I want. Oh, there we go. This one is more like it. Oh, I like that one too. So we're going to bring this into image to image. You see it here. And now we're going to kind of work more on the style. I want to start with the style of the artist because I want to put more weight on the look of the image. Now I've already pre-selected these two artists and I'll leave a link in the description below on a great resource that I got from another YouTuber. His channel is called Royal Skies, I believe, but it's just lists upon lists of amazing artists that you can study and see which look that you like. Now in the prompt now, I added in the style of Hyung Tai Kim and 
Yoji Shinkawa. I hope I'm pronouncing their names right. Now also what I'm going to do is bring the image strength down to let's try 15 because I do want to change up the look a little bit. So let's generate these ones and see what we come up with. Oh there we go. Now I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> That's a really close portrait style. I'm liking what's happening here. I feel like the details are lacking. So what we're going to do is after Warframe Warrior, we're going to add intricate details. I also want to add neon ambience, and this is going to give us some cool neon accents. And without going too far, I want to put the Warframe in an environment. So let's try in a cyberpunk city. And this is the beautiful thing about prompting. You could add things in any way, in any shape or form to get different looks. And as you see, this is totally different from what we were doing earlier. See the neon ambience is really coming out, giving it color. We don't really see the cyberpunk city as much as I'd like. So we're going to run it again and see if we can use any of these images as inspiration. Oh, there we go. Kind of like where this is going. Just for the sake of time, I'm going to use this one as our new image to image. So let's run this once again. So there we go. I really like what's happening with this one. So we're going to swap this out. Use this as our image to image, and we're getting closer to the look that I'm looking for. Now, I do want to give it sort of a painted look, and I want a bit more lighting contrast. What I'd like to add here, let's add acrylic painting, and we're going to do volumetric lighting. I'm going to generate two more images and see what we can come up with. Oh, here we go. This is kind of the image I really was looking for. This is very close. So we're going to come here, use for image to image. Now I'm going to bring the strength back up to 20 because this is very close to what I've envisioned. Now at this point, this is where I would increase the prompt guidelines. Let's try 10. And I find for Euler, you can go up to 40, maybe 50, but 40 seems to be a pretty good sweet spot. There's really no need to go higher for this type of image. Let's see if I can get away with four <laughs> images on the free account. So we're going to generate these four. And here we go. Wow. Wow. This is really taking shape now. I really love what's being produced here. Let's generate another four. Ah, there we go. I really like this one. Oh, this one's really nice too. They're all really fantastic, to be honest. So at this point, I think I would be happy, let's say, with one of these. For me, if I was going to use this, I would go to the upscale feature, click on this, and it's going to automatically upscale. And I'd, I would simply just download this into my folder. And then I would do some tweaking in my photo editor to bring out the colors and, and get more details in the image, things like that. We'll go over that in another video. In the next video, we're going to go over in painting and how to tweak these images or any other image to get more specific results from the images that you're generating. So the point of this exercise was to kind of walk you through the workflow to create the ideas you have in your head. As you see our main prompt here, it's really not that complicated. And I find with a lot of the prompts you see on Lexica or even on Playground AI, people are just copying and pasting each other's prompts. But there's a point where you have to kind of learn how to get the result you want. So if you recall, we started with these very traditional archangel images we gave the archangel this warframe style and then we started adding some details some things in the lighting and gave it style based on the artists and the environment right as we see the evolution of this it really didn't take too long for me to get the result i was looking for and this is the beauty of text image art where you start with an ideal and evolve it to a masterpiece that you created. Now, if you happen to be new to my channel, you don't know anything about Playground AI, make sure to check out this video where I go over just the basic navigation of the site. But until the next video, my friends, I'll see you.
monacillo. 